Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Before we get started, I just want to let you know that I did forget to film an intro and an outro to this video, so uh, sorry about that, but thank you so much for watching. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys some of my favorite crock pot recipes. These are super easy, they're great to do for, um, like if you have to work or something, you can just throw them in the crock pot on low for 8 hours and then you have dinner when you get home. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Let me know if you're going to try any of these out um, down below. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Okay guys, today we're doing up a corned beef brisket. I picked this up at my local Aldi's. I got mine for $11.21. You can get these fairly cheap. I've even gotten them for like $7 and $8 before. They're fairly small for that price. For $10, well $11, I think it's pretty good for two people. This will feed us for a couple of days, so that's more than enough for um, me and my husband. My three-year-old won't eat it. <laughs> but they've also got more expensive ones that go up to like, you know, $20. So just keep an eye on the price. Um, of course, that correlates with the sizing. But I think these are a pretty good price and they have really good flavor. Um, so yeah, enough about this. What we're going to use today, this is like a super easy put in the crock pot and cook meal. Like it's, You can't get much easier than this. Um, we have our corned beef, which also comes with a seasoning packet. We've got some frozen green beans. Normally I would do two packs. But we had the same kind of green beans the other night, so we had some leftovers, so I'm just gonna toss that in the pot as well, because there's a pretty hearty amount left in here that we didn't eat. I've got one can of mushrooms. You could also use fresh mushrooms. I'm gonna throw in the rest of this bag of baby carrots. And then normally I would add about four russet potatoes chopped up. However, my potatoes apparently went bad. Have y'all ever smelled a rotten potato? It is not pleasant. So, I'm gonna do it mashed potatoes on the side, which makes a little more work for me. That's not how I normally do this. Again, normally, I do potatoes in my crock pot. And of course, use whatever kind of potatoes you have. You can use the fingerlings, you can use russet. I buy those because they're cheap, they're in bulk, and then they do everything. You can buy the, you know, Yukon Gold, the little round ones, canned potatoes, whatever you wanna use. <laughs> Super easy meal. So, we're gonna go ahead and toss in our brisket. Now, the meat in this does have a habit of kind of having almost like a jelly consistency and not the meat, the um, blood. The blood tends to have a bit of a jelly consistency, which I find weird, but it still tastes really good. So whatever it is, what it is. And I just pop it in the crock pot when I open it to catch any juices that spill out. Yum. There's our handy dandy little seasoning packet. And I'm gonna sprinkle my seasoning packet all over my meat. And the blood in mine might be like a jelly consistency because I freeze it. That could be why. So on top of that, I'm going to add my frozen green beans. And then the rest of my carrots. You could also add corn to this. Super easy meal. Oh, forgot these ones. Toss these ones in here too. And then my can of mushrooms. There we go. And then I'm just gonna put this bad boy on low for the next eight hours. You could also do high for four hours. That cooks it pretty good as well. So this is what it's looking like in the crock pot. Can't really see the meat anymore, but it's in there. And I will come back and show you guys what it looks like once we plate it. And here is what dinner looks like after it's out of the crock pot. So this I was able to cut into, I think six servings roughly, so. This will definitely give us leftovers for the next couple of days. So ignore the giant pile of laundry <laughs> on my island. Um, today we are going to be doing like a chicken salsa mixture. We use this for taco salads, which is what we're going to have tonight. You can do nachos with it. You could do burritos. You could do tacos. Really whatever you want to do. This is a very, very, very versatile dish very easy to make so i'm gonna flip you around and show you what's going into the crock pot so i've already tossed everything in here just because i can't find my um camera mount or stand so uh, kind of hard to show you and hold the camera but i've got some frozen chicken breasts these are from frozen you can of course do it from thawed um i like to go through play with the bagged chicken breasts and inevitably you get some like really funky tiny guys like this one's kind of weird this one's kind of small. That one's like a little nugget. <laughs> and then I've got a couple of actual decently sized chicken breasts down in here. So I like this recipe because we're going to shred the chicken at the end of it. 
So you can throw in any of these like random little guys that are just kind of funky. It's a great way to use them up. To this, I've added half a jar of mild chunky salsa. Of course, use whatever kind of salsa you like. And then I've got one can of sweet corn and also one can of kidney beans. Use whatever kind of beans you like. You can do pinto beans. Well, probably not pinto beans if they're mashed up. I would hold off on that until you're like filling your whatever's you're making. But kidney beans, black beans, white beans, whatever kind of beans that you want to use, throw them on in here. I've never had any issues. I normally do kidney or black beans personally. Um, I like the black beans the best, but we had kidney on hand and I want to get them used up. So that's everything that is in my crock pot for the moment. And I'm going to put it on low for the next eight hours and I'll come back and show you uh, our taco salads. So this is what the mixture looks like once it's all cooked and we have shredded the chicken and just tossed it all back in. And this is what it looks like once it's plated. We've got our lettuce, our chicken mixture, our tortilla chips, and then we will top it. We got some queso, ranch dressing, sour cream, but of course you can add whatever you like, but that is dinner for the night. So today we are doing crock pot Hawaiian chicken with rice. Uh, so in the crock pot, I have three chicken breasts. I wish I had had four on hand, um, but I only followed three. I didn't think about it. Should have done four. Uh, I've got some barbecue sauce down in here. I just decided to finish up my famous Dave's barbecue sauce. It's a sweet and zesty. You use whatever kind of barbecue sauce that you like, but I thought it was a good opportunity to use the rest of that up. Plus it's zesty, and I thought the zesty would play well with the sweet from the pineapple, which we've got one can of pineapple. It is um, 20 ounces. It's a large can of pineapple in there. I've also heard that you can reserve it and do half in the crock pot and save the other half to top afterward. Uh, I accidentally dumped the whole thing. I was trying to only pour in half and the whole thing went. So there it is. And then I did a small sprinkling of red chili powder. Uh, the recipe calls for one red chili pepper, like chopped up. I don't have any red chilies on hand and I only had this. Um, I'm not sure how that's gonna go. That's not something I cook with a ton. I'm not really much for a lot of heat personally. So I just did like a very light dash just for a little flavoring, but you put as much in there as you like. Or if you have red chilies on hand, it's one whole red chili. And so we're gonna cook this on high for low. Oh, sorry. We're going to cook this on low for eight hours. And then I'm going to make my rice separately when we're ready. And I will show you guys dinner when it's done. So this is what my chicken mixture is looking like. I'm not so sure about this, you guys. Sometimes crock pot recipes just don't work out. The chicken has really good flavor, but it's rather dry. And then we have way too much liquid going on in here for the barbecue. You know what I'm saying? Like after all the chicken juices came out. In the pineapple juices way too much liquid so we're gonna see if we can salvage this i already have i already have my rice ready i made brown rice because we didn't have any white rice on hand that calls for white rice but we'll see what we can do with this and i'll show you guys after i get the chicken shredded so this is how i salvaged this dish i went ahead and threw it all back into the skillet with the rice shredded my chicken put it on to boil to boil off some of the liquids and then I went back in and added some Sweet Baby Ray barbecue sauce just to bring back the barbecue flavor. Um, like I said, it has really, really, really good flavor to it, but it just came out way too liquid liquidy for my personal liking. So if I was to do this dish again, I think I would just like bake my chicken or maybe boil my chicken in the crock pot all day with some like... Uh, chicken stock or something just so it's easy to shred when I get home and then I would combine everything in the crock pot my barbecue sauce my cooked chicken my rice cooked rice and my pineapple and just mix it all together and warm it up that way I think that would just work out a lot better um again great flavor great flavor and I was pleasantly surprised with those chili pepper flakes that's really good and what I put in which is like a light sprinkling and for us that's not overpowering at all it gives some really good flavor so that slop is dinner for tonight. In today's meal, we are going to be doing up a pork roast, a half butt pork roast. So in my crock pot currently, I have about five russet potatoes, they're small potatoes. I think 
three or four potatoes would have been plenty. Went a little overboard. Um, the rest of a bag of carrots I had, I would have done less potatoes and more carrots if I thought about it more, I guess. And one bag of frozen green beans. They'll cook just fine. These ones are from Aldi's. And then I'm just going to give it all a quick little mix. And then the seasoning we're gonna be using today is a also from Aldi's. It's one pot sauce, maple, lager, and caramelized onion. And we're gonna pour about half the container into the crock pot on the vegetables. I'm just gonna give that a quick little mix to make sure the veggies get a good coating. Throwing veggies out of the pot. <laughs> but just to make sure the veggies get a good coating of the sauce. I'm also going to sprinkle in some minced onion. Nothing too crazy. If you like large chunks of onion, by all means, chop up an onion and add it in. Now to this mixture, I'm going to add my pork butt. So this is how my pork butt came. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take it out of the packaging and I guess leave it in the paper. Sorry, my son is screaming in his bedroom. <laughs> this show probably went off. Um, but you can see these little lines here. We're gonna go ahead and leave the, the rope on there. I'm not really sure what the purpose of it is, but I know you can cook, cook the roast with it on. Okay, I've got my roast in my crock pot now. We're gonna have to make a little bit of room. But I'm gonna go ahead and coat it with the rest of the sauce. You can get fancy and use a basting brush if you wish, but I'm just gonna use the back side of my wooden spoon to just give it a nice coating all over the top. And I'm gonna kind of try to push some of the veggies out from underneath of it so it sits a little deeper in my pot. That should be good. Now we're gonna stick this on low for the next eight hours. And this is what dinner looks like once it is done. I've tried it, it's not bad. I think you can really taste the maple in it. Uh, I don't I don't know if we'd buy it again. What do you think about it? Do you like it? I haven't tried it. Oh, you haven't tried it yet? I, I honestly think it's a little bit bland, if we're being honest. It's not bad flavor, but I think it's a little bland. Um, need a little something extra with it, I think. But not not a not a horrible dinner, I guess. So I lost my tripod, so you'll have to bear with me on this. And excuse the toddler sounds and grown man sounds in the background. <laughs> so in the crock pot, if you can see underneath all this chicken, we have green beans, carrots, and potatoes. Then we've got our chicken with some minced onion on top. My family likes the flavor of onions, but we don't really like big chunks of onions, so this works well for us. If you want actual hunks of onions, by all means, put some in here. You could also add corn or uh, mushrooms, really anything you want to add in here. Um, then we've got three chicken breasts, and there, as you can see, a sauce is on top. This is an oven sauce from Aldi. It's the roasted chicken. It's delicious tasting. We did try doing this in the oven one time. And we found that the potatoes and carrots absorbed all the sauce and the chicken was rather dry. But I found that putting it in the crock pot and making sure it goes on top of the chicken first and then letting it seep down to everything underneath, the chicken absorbs a lot of the flavor and it's really, really tasty. So this will go um, all day. So, you know, low for eight hours and I will show you dinner when it's ready. So my husband already dipped out our dishes, so I can't really show you all of that but you know this is kind of the gist of what it looks like once it's cooked chicken turns out nice and juicy and everything just absorbs the flavor from that packet really well and in case i didn't mention that sauce packet i picked it up at aldi's and it's over by the area with like the uh or at least in my store it's over in the area with like the salad dressings and the ketchup so it's really easy to find it's about two bucks for a pack and it is delicious Okay, so for tonight's dinner, we're going to do up green beans, potatoes, and sausage in the crock pot. This is a super easy meal to make, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to do is take four russet potatoes and chop them all up. 
So as you can see, I've just kind of done mine up in chunks. It really doesn't matter how you slice it. Whatever you feel like doing is gonna work just fine. Just bite-sized pieces, really. The next thing I'm gonna add in are two cans of cut green beans. Of course, you can use whatever kind of green beans you want. Personally, I think the French green beans get a little too stringy for this recipe, but they still work. You could also do a bag of frozen green beans. I was gonna use this, but realized we had canned goods. I'd like to get used up. Or you could even do fresh green beans, which would probably take a little longer to cook, but they would still be absolutely delicious. So this recipe is really versatile. I did use russet potatoes, as mentioned, but you could use little goldens. You could use the little tiny potatoes. You could use canned potatoes. Whatever kind of potato floats your boat, pop it in your crock pot. Then I'm also going to add one can of little mushrooms you could of course use fresh mushrooms whatever you have on hand this is one of these great recipes that are just good for getting rid of whatever you got sitting around you could even add corn to this so if you got some canned corn to get rid of throw it in your pot Okay, next we're gonna add in our smoked sausage. I picked mine up at Aldi's, they're pretty cheap. It's the um, smoked pola sausage. You get 14 links. I'll show you what they look like. It's exactly what they look like. You can double them as your hot dogs. You can use them in this for sausage. They are very versatile. They have great flavor. They're very similar to the Hillshire Farm links, those big long links that you can buy. Except for those are like two or three dollars for one link or you can buy like an entire package for like two or three dollars and it'll do your hot dogs it'll do your sausage it'll do everything you pick it up at aldi so a little way to save some money there and i'm just going to cut all this up and throw it in the crock pot i think we're going to do about three sausages okay my baby's starting to get fussy so let's try to get this finished real quick uh, to this i'm going to add one cup of water you can always add on like a bouillon cube or some chicken stock if you want for extra flavor i don't typically do it but it is an option then i'm going to add some minced onion i like these because i like the flavor of onion but i don't like big chunks however if you like big chunks of onion by all means toss some in the crock pot i tend to eyeball when i do my seasonings normally one coating like one layer on the top is more than enough for me i'll show you what i'm talking about in a second and then i mix it all together but you gotta you know do it to taste i guess so this is what I mean by a layer of it. I layered, I did a layer of the onion. Next I'll do a layer of garlic salt and then I'll do another layer of steak seasoning. Of course you could also use like an apple rub. That's really good. I don't have any on hand, but tonight we're using steak seasoning. I'll just do a layer of it over the top and mix it all together. So and in my opinion, that's plenty of spice. So you might want to add less. You might think it's too much. And give it all a good toss and this will easily give you I'd say a good six servings definitely so this will definitely be lunch for my husband and I or dinner for my husband and I tonight lunch for tomorrow and possibly dinner for tomorrow as well so it's one of those meals that lasts a while Okay, everything's all mixed then, so I'm gonna put mine on high for the next four hours. You could, of course, do low for eight, uh, just depending on how much time you have, and I will show you guys what everything looks like once it's all cooked. So we've already dipped out our bowls, but this is what dinner looks like once it's all done. Potatoes are nice and soft, everything's cooked. The sausage has plumped up from being in the water, and there it is in my bowl, and there's definitely enough in here for my husband and I to have lunch tomorrow, maybe even more after that.